Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Why am I in a squat position? Is that because this is an intro for my video, which is called Squat Talk. I have another channel called Squat Talk, but I'm bringing all the videos to my main channel, Strong with Raj. The basic idea is that I will make a video and speak to you guys in a squat position. And I'm hoping and requesting that you will also listen and watch the video in a squat position. There could be anywhere from two to four to maybe eight minutes. This will ensure that I am in a squat position on a regular basis, maybe daily. And also it can help you if you want to be able to go back to the roots and be comfortable in taking a position of squat. As you know, I'm big into strength training, big into back squats, deadlifts and other things. But this particular playlist is just about being able to be in a squat position like we always have been and maybe restart and recreate that habit that we've forgotten to be in a squat position. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to daily squat talk number eight. In this video, we're going to talk about why are you not able to be in this position? Why do you suck at it? <laughs> I hope you've been enjoying these videos. I would like to request you to hit a like button, subscribe and comment if you're enjoying these videos of me talking to you in squat position. Because my whole aim is to make sure that you also squat down in this position and watch my video because I will be doing this in this position. So. Let's talk about why do you suck at it or why anyone sucks at it, at anything, not just being in this position. And in most cases, the answer is that you don't use it. There is no perfect saying for me. There is no better, more applicable and apt way of, of saying, which is also a true phenomena, than use it or lose it. If you don't use it, you are going to lose it. And that is for many things in life. I am 45 and there are many things that I am not able to do anymore. Um, but let's just keep it to squat. There was a time I used to squat all the time in this position and spend time. And then something happened. I moved countries. And then I stopped using that position and I lost it. I did. And about seven, eight years ago, I said, no, I cannot lose it and I need to do it again. So here I am. And I've been doing this for a while and I want you to realize that there is no silver bullet. There is no magic cure if you want to be in this position or for that matter, anything. If you want to play guitar or run a marathon, you just have to use it. That is the most fundamental thing. Forget about motivation. Forget about what's happening in your life. If you're not going to use it, you're going to lose it. And uh, I have definitely lost, lost other things. Like one of the things I did when I was younger was climbing trees. And I really still miss it. I don't know whether I still got it or not. But I haven't done it in a long, long time. So... It is possible that many of us do not have many things now because we don't use it anymore and maybe they're not relevant. But to me, it's very important and relevant still for me to be in this position. So if you don't use it, you will lose it. However, this is something that you can start doing it again. You may not be able to run in a marathon in sub two hours anymore but you can still run a marathon but this is something that you can still teach yourself to do because all it is is just bending your knee and the hip and in order to get back into it all you have to do is start a point where you can start doing it again in a way that it suits you for that starting point whether it is sitting on something or holding on to something and there is another fancy uh, idiom or a, or a saying that is used in neuroplasticity. You ready for it? It's called if it 
fires, it wires. So any activity that you're doing, if you're able to do it at whatever level, what it does that in the brain, the neurons make stronger connection to other neurons for that activity because it's firing. Each time to fire, each time you fire, each time it wires stronger each time. Think of it walking on a on a grassland and you walk once and you make a little indentation, little mark and then you walk again and again and if you keep doing it, you will leave deeper and deeper mark and at one point it will become a track. That's exactly what is happening with the neurons making stronger connection. So just think of it, you're walking and making a path way. You're walking on the path and each time you're walking on the path, you're making a pathway for the future. We have discussed, we don't need to discuss why being in this position is good for our health. I will do videos in the future about that for sure. But we need to be able to use our joints the way we are designed to. I've done a video on that why we should be squatting and how we're engineered to squat. If you want to watch that video, just click here. So yes, I have been progressively doing these videos and uh, I started at three minutes. I've done videos of four minutes, five minutes, and I'm getting better and better. And my whole journey is to do it with you and want you to sit down with me in a squat position and watch my videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Other than that, there are certain uh, anatomical shapes that makes you good at squats, you know, and not good at other things. I have met people who have said that because of the way the hip is designed, it is less than optimal for them to squat. But even then, I think in whatever way, you should use it. Otherwise, you'll lose it. Uh, I do believe that because I have short femur, I'm able to get into squat position easily and hold it for longer but believe me i also do get pains around here when i sit for too long and i just try to move like this and uh, another factor why i'm so easily able to be in a squat position is my absolutely bloody flat feet they both are so flat but i have come to the conclusion that it, it is it is helping me squat, having a flat foot. And I have made a video on that and I call it my flat foot theory. And if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link right here. So I really hope that gives you a very simple and profound message today, which is for us to realize and put into action, which is use it or lose it. I'll see you next time.